good educated i'm glad you made it allow me to unfold my knowledge wisdom and understanding from a hood niggas point of view to all of you here there and everywhere now before we get into the video do me a favor real quick make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy my content please hit the notification bell so when every time i drop a new video you will be the first to get it now check me out now listen we're gonna just jump right into it i'm not finna use any of uh hassan campbell's uh visuals or nothing like that but i do have the audio because you know he he might play a little funny you understand what i'm saying because you know when you reveal the truth or when you expose somebody they kind of get a they get real mad about that so i don't want to do that but just hear him out though y'all check him out Now, listen, come on, man. So, you supposed to be a black revolutionary, right? And just because the brother in the chat told you that, hey, I'm still fucking with you, but the people in the chat are still, you know, saying that they rock with 1090 Jake. This man gets so upset to say that I don't rock with black people no more. I'm going to go find me some white brothers, which ain't nothing wrong with that. You understand what I'm saying? You know, ain't nothing wrong with that because we ain't racist or nothing like that. But we just point it out, though. This is what he's saying, right? And that the simple fact that just because he has people in his comment section saying that, hey, man, basically... The shit that you trying to pull with the 1090 Jake dude, man, is some foul ass shit. And we ain't fucking with that shit like that. We ain't finna follow you on no shit like that. You get so upset that you disown your own people. The so-called people that you are uh, trying to uplift. You not making no sense, brother. And not only that, like, what revolutionary in his right mind, a black revolutionary, would disown his people? So I refuse to believe that you are a black revolutionary. I believe that you are a manipulator. I believe that you are an opportunist. And you are upset because you cannot control your people. You are upset because you cannot control your audience. See, Hassan Campbell, you wanted, you started this shit with 1090 Jake and you wanted all the black people to be behind you saying, yeah, 1090 Jake should mind his business. He racist. Yeah, he should be talking about black. That's what you wanted. But it didn't go the way you planned. The way you visioned it in your brain. You said, yeah, I'm going to say this shit right here and I'm going to have all the black people with me. We're going to get this motherfucker 1090 Jake out of here. And then when it stopped going that way, now all of a sudden, fuck the black people. You ain't rocking with the black people. Now all of a sudden, black people are disloyal. How? You got 400 and some thousand subscribers, Hassan Campbell. How many of them people do you believe that's black? I would, I would say it's probably at least 90%. Of them are black. Now, if they was disloyal, they would stop watching your channel. And then you know what would happen? If 90% of the black people that you say that you're not rocking with no more, if they stop watching your channel, do you know what would happen? All that money and flashing and the cars and shit, the jewels and all that, that shit gonna dry up. See, realize something, Hassan Campbell. Think. How you getting these YouTube checks? Who paying attention to you? Who are spending their time watching your videos? The people that you say you are no longer rocking with. Just because some of them, not all of them, but some of them said, hey, I'm not agreeing with what you're saying right now. You trying to start some shit 
with somebody that ain't starting shit with you. And now, fuck all of them. But you are a black revolutionary though. I have not seen in the history of black revolutionaries uh, a person that's doing what you're doing, saying what you're saying about the people that they are supposed to help. A black revolutionary, you are not, brother. You are not. So stop saying that. You are a YouTuber that get on here and give your opinion. That's what you are. But you're not a black revolutionary because black revolutionaries die with this. They don't give up on it. Just because a couple of people say, nah, we don't agree with you. You want all your audience to agree with you on some bullshit. And just because some of them said, nah, man, I'm, I'm cool on that. You disown all of them. You not making no sense. You very emotional. Now let's check out the other one. So let's check this out, y'all, because he did another one. And I need y'all to pay close attention to it. Check this out. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? Now, when people do say that you're not black, I got to believe them now. And the reason for it, because people that are black, African-American or whatever we calling ourselves these days, we understand that this right here is 24-7, 365 days a year. This right here, we can't take this off. We can't choose to say, you know what? I don't want to be black no more. We can't choose that because we born that way. Matter of fact, to all my brothers and sisters that's watching this right now, has that ever entered your mind as a mature adult? I don't want to be black no more. It has never entered my mind to even utter some words like that. Because I understand this is who I am. This is how God created me. It ain't no way around it. But for you to sit up here and say that I don't want to be black no more. How in the hell can you not want to be black no more? Unless you are not black. Unless you are pretending to be black. Now don't get me wrong. I happen to believe, right? Listen to me, y'all. I happen to believe that Puerto Ricans are black. I happen to believe that Dominicans are black, right? I happen to believe that other Cubans are black, right? Because of the historical uh, uh, events that happened way back in them days, right? So I'm not, I'm not bucking that right there. But for you to sit up here and say that I don't want to be black no more. Maybe you never was black, brother. Maybe you never was. And then to say that we are the weakest. Now, we are the weakest people and we are disloyal. All because of we won't follow you. All because we won't agree with your bullshit. Now all of a sudden we the weakest people on the earth. Listen to his wording. I never think like that about my people. I might say, damn, you know, we need to tighten it up. But to say that we the weakest on the earth? No. Because we got to understand some, y'all. Here it is, you got a people that was brought over here to the shores of America in chains, uh, treated like animals, stripped of their nationality, language, names, culture, stripped of just being a human being, right? These are my ancestors 
that I'm talking about. Now look at us today. Uh, we done been the president. Uh, we sitting at the table making laws, right? Uh, we lawyers, prosecutors, judges, governors, mayors, right? So how are we weak? We came from nothing. We came from being treated like animals, right? And, and, and let me say this right here. We didn't do this on our own. White people helped us do this. Let's just be 100, right? There's some good and bad people on both sides of the fence. You got good and bad black people. You got good and bad white people. And there was some good white people that was helping some good black peoples way back then that helped push us to where we at right now today. Let's be 100. We didn't do it on our own. But for you, Hassan Campbell, to be a black revolutionary, to say that we are the weakest people on the earth, how? Explain that. Just because a small percentage of us show uh, disloyal, just because a small, percent small percentage of us is out here shooting and gang banging and doing dumb shit, just because a small percentage of us is committing crimes and breaking laws, the mass majority of black people don't do that shit. We got to understand that. The mass majority of black people are tax paying citizens, good Americans. Come on, man. This dude right here is losing it. He losing it right before our eyes and got the nerve to down us when we already down. So are you really here to help the people, Hassan Campbell? Or do you just like what the people are doing for you? Because black revolutionaries would never disown their own people. They gonna stand and die, win, lose, or draw with their peoples. And you trying to abandon your peoples all because we didn't agree with you on one subject. This hood educated, not lame related. Before I get up out of here, let me give a shout out to some of the people that have blessed me. Brandon Hoffman, I appreciate the $10 cash shop. Dexter Washington, $5 cash shop. Arnita Clancy, $10 cash shop. Anthony Berkeley, $5 cash shop. Christina Valesquez, $20 cash shop. And, and Melanie Boone, $50 PayPal. I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. I'm going to keep bringing it to you. Keep supporting the channel. And man, just know this is hood educated, not lame related. We ain't going for none of that bullshit. We gonna call it out the way that we see it. Whoever don't like it, man, you gotta accept it because it's the truth. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there.